Hey, Grace City Church, Pastor Josh checking in. It is Tuesday, 5 p.m. Wow, things are changing quickly. This is a very fluid situation we find humanity in, and I wanted to give you an update on where we're at. For many of you who listened in on Sunday, I gave our church family a five-step action plan to stay in step with Jesus. To stay in step with Jesus, we want to stay in community, we want to stay in the Word, we want to stay in prayer, we want to stay generous, and we want to stay focused on faith over fear. And I gave us a plan, and we're going to stick to that plan, but we're going to make some tweaks and adjustments to it now based on some of the things that we are being told we need to do as a community. I'm going to film a short video later to give you a more full explanation as to our thinking as a church family in response to the situation, but I wanted to give you a few quick updates right now. As of today, Tuesday, 5 o'clock, March 17th, Grace City Church is postponing all public gatherings. That's including our Sunday morning gathering, growth track, launch groups, school of ministry, city groups, anchored, anchor junior, any public gathering that we would have for a Grace City event is now postponed through April 5th, which is Palm Sunday. We will revisit at that time to kind of see where we are at and make a new plan from there. So we're making plans three weeks at a time so we don't have to keep changing the plan from day to day to day. Now, uh, here's what this is gonna look like. Uh, we are still going to have two corporate gatherings for our church family online, one on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. and one, this is new, one on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. One corporate gathering on Sunday morning will all be preaching the word and we're actually uh, already putting together our production team some really fun elements to make that a, a really, really good time together. You'll be meeting with your families in your homes. We were originally gonna have city groups get together we're not doing that now. You'll just probably be with your family at home. We will broadcast that service live on Sunday at 10 a.m. And then Wednesday night, since we're not allowed to get together as city groups, we're going to have corporate city group with Pastor Josh and corporate city group with Pastor Adam, where we get to all come together and we're going to facilitate about a 25 or 30 minute prayer time together. Pastor Adam's going to walk us through praying for key and critical things and people in our community. We've worked it all out today. It's gonna to be really, really good. And then here's what, what my city group is gonna do. Uh, we're gonna to get together on Zoom and everyone in my city group is gonna bring a different scripture verse to share, to encourage one another. I'm gonna ask a few questions. We're all gonna check in. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna catch up with each other. And that's gonna be our city group. So our city group is gonna participate in the corporate prayer service being led by Pastor Adam online at 7 p.m. And then we're gonna connect on our Zoom. And that's how we're going to intentionally stay in community. So we're gonna stay in community two ways, primarily as a church, 10 o'clock Sunday corporate service, and then 1, 7 p.m. Wednesday night all church prayer service. Now, here is some really good news that I want you to hear. Uh, last Sunday, uh, we had the single largest service we have ever had in the history of Grace City Church, and we didn't even have a building or a place to get together. We were able to track how many people watched on Facebook, on our website, on our app, and it was the single largest church service in the history of Grace City Church. That is exciting. We're staying in community. We're coming together. We're going to walk through this together. The second piece of encouraging news is we had a massive uh, giving Sunday. You were generous. You kept your hands and heart open. You gave generously to the church. And I, I'm so encouraged by the generosity of Grace City Church. Keep it up. Keep doing it. Uh, keeping Grace City Church strong will allow us to continue responding in a way that's helpful to our community in the days to come. I've just gotten done meeting with our staff all day long and I could not be more encouraged. We have a great plan for this rapid response situation that we find ourselves in. Uh, we are going to lead the way, Grace City Church, and lead our community through this 
really extraordinary and historically unprecedented time. We're gonna lead the way in serving. We're gonna lead the way in being good community members. We're gonna lead the way in loving and caring for our community together. I got a couple more videos I'm gonna be shooting tonight. More information is coming. The Lamplight series starts tomorrow. The soundtrack of hope gets released tomorrow. We're gonna to release new ways to stay connected. We're gonna release new ways to get information. We're on the ball. We're in the game, our heart is full, our feet are moving, and we're gonna move through this together as a church community to love and serve the, the town that we love so much in Jesus' name. So I love you, Grace City Church. God bless, and we'll be in touch soon.